of our Mark Sanford on Facebook. More than anything, I am struck by two truths. One, it seems that history well documents that those who work to avoid conflict at all costs wind up being those destined in many instances to find much conflict. Peace at all costs rarely brings it. On the other hand, Jesus was incredibly clear in the book of Luke that we are to turn the other cheek at offenses and that if someone took our shirt, we were to offer our coat as well. Good Luke reference. Oh, take it off, take off that coat, yeah. This year, with no schedule, has certainly resulted in a lot of time apart from our boys. As for instance, I was not able to spend a night with Bolton for 17 weeks this spring. The same holds true last year, when they were not allowed to be with me during the five months of the campaign. Save the election nights. The trump card has always been, if you don't like it, take me to court. And for all the reasons described, this has never been a place I feel comfortable going. It ain't your mama's house, no, it ain't your mama's house. The absence of schedule now simply results in strange emails. As for instance, I got one two days ago from Jenny's new lawyer, advising me that to arrange any visit with Blake, I should come through her. If I had normal parental rights, why in the world would I be getting a note like this from an attorney, when in that case our son wants nothing more than to go to the USC football game? Go Gamecocks? So here's my takeaway to now suggest that we need for me to look at a different camera while I read this. We need to amend what does not exist. Strikes me as either pure theater or a punitive restriction to further limit what has evolved to be very limited. Time with our boys. Four. Mark Sanford, Facebook, September 2012. From Dallas, good night, America.